up you guys it's your girl the short side and i'm back with another video today we're going to be doing a review on arm and hammer advanced white whitening toothpaste so let's go ahead and get started are you subscribed have you turned on your notification bells okay i'll wait so this is the arm and hammer advanced white whitening toothpaste it says that it's extreme whitening and stain stain defense and it has baking soda, peroxide, and it neutralizes acid. And when I did my research before I started using this toothpaste, I looked up some of the benefits of using a baking soda toothpaste, and it said that it uh, it should brighten my smile, and it should also fight gum disease and fight off plaque. You know, pretty much all the stuff all the toothpaste declared to do in my personal opinion and so i thought why not i'm gonna go ahead and give this a shot um baking soda teeth whitening i mean sign me up sign me up so i went ahead and bought this before i decided to go ahead and use this toothpaste i did do some research on uh, using a baking soda toothpaste and it said that not only will it brighten your smile um, It also said that it's supposed to fight gum disease and it fights all the plaque off your teeth Basically what all the other toothpaste do, but I know auntie Jackie used that toothpaste and I mean Auntie Jackie said it. it was good. I started using this toothpaste maybe about a year ago, I believe. And to be honest, everything was really great in the beginning. I did start to see my teeth brighten up a little bit. The My teeth were always fresh. It was really minty. It had a nice minty undertone to it. And everything was totally fine until about a month ago. Y'all, this toothpaste came for me. It came for me, y'all. I noticed that after I brushed my teeth, my lips were just so super dry. I was putting on chapstick too frequently to be normal, I felt. And the inside of my mouth also was really dry. Like I felt like the saliva in my mouth wasn't producing the way that it should be. Like the way that my mouth should be producing saliva. And I had no idea what was going on. I just really couldn't seem to figure out why my lips and why my mouth and like why around my mouth was starting to get so dry. But I kind of just assumed that it was the chapstick that I was using because at that time I wasn't really using the chapstick that I was typically using. And so I went out and I bought that chapstick and I just started putting it on my face and like not just on my lips, I was putting it all around my mouth because all of that was just so super dry and it was so dry to the point where when i would wake up in the morning like i would have crust on the corners of my mouth i mean we do we do drool i'm not gonna cap on that we do drool but it was just so intense to the point where i'm like i cannot be i cannot be drooling this much in my sleep like something has to be wrong and so me being really confused about what was going on went on for about a month and toward the beginning of may my dad actually was telling me that the same thing happened to him and he suggested that it might be the toothpaste i'm actually going to include a photo of what my mouth was looking like during this time y'all and it was literally a terrible week for me um like my mouth was it soared up it was super sore. I couldn't eat anything without it literally burning. It was burning to open my mouth. I didn't want to talk. I didn't want to do anything. And I just, I don't know if it's because I have really sensitive skin and my body is used to more natural products that the baking soda or some chemical in the toothpaste did that to me. But the moment that I switched over to a more natural toothpaste, my mouth started healing, it started clearing up, and it started getting better. And honestly, it was really upsetting me because, like, Arm & Hammer, you really gonna come from my face? Like, y'all, it really looked disgusting, and it, I felt so gross because I just... I just could not fathom that a toothpaste had done that to my skin and I was just so desperate to get it fixed and to be honest y'all my mouth is still recovering um if you get really really close up on me when well, y'all not gonna get that close because coronavirus but like the corner of my mouth is still really dry and I put cocoa butter on it just to kind of clear it up but it is 
a lot better than what it was looking like about two weeks ago and i can guarantee you that so basically to heal up everything that was going on in my mouth um i know i was using tea tree oil i put aloe vera on it cortisone and bliss text that, that's the all-star team right there that's the key that's the recipe it did take about a week and a half for me to be able to open my mouth again to eat without it burning or to yawn without it hurting it 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 was it's been a long so now i am using a more natural toothpaste and my mouth my skin is taking very well to it nothing i don't seem to have any problems anymore and i do remember that when i did run out of the toothpaste and i went back to use the armor hammer instantly lips started drying up again i'm gonna chuck it up to having sensitive skin i don't know if any of my other followers or viewers out there have had any of the same problems if you have leave a comment below let's have a conversation because something's gotta give or like i don't know if it's the formula or like if Arm & Hammer can do something about it or create a toothpaste with a little bit less chemical in it, but yo, I was really enjoying the product until it messed up my skin. And in the future, I'm going to do more reviews on black-owned businesses. I know Arm & Hammer isn't black-owned, but whether it be skincare, hair care, clothing, whatever it is, drop your black-owned business below and I will be happy to support and I'll be happy to review because I'm an advocate for black business, period. So thank you all for tuning into my channel. Make sure you leave a comment below. Make sure you share, follow me on the socials, and hit up my website. Did y'all know that I blog? Did y'all know that my blogs are fire? Come on, don't miss out, sis. I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.